Hello, we are now in the fourth quarter and we are going to discuss the lesson for the first week. For the first part of our lesson, we will be discussing about the real life problems that can be solved by statistics. Before we start, let us have a short activity. So I will be showing you I will be showing you jumbled letters and you are going to unscramble them to form the words related to our lesson for today. Here is our first uh, word. What uh, word will be formed when we unscramble these letters? The answer is statistics. Number two. How about this? So we have uh, four letters. And the answer is data. The next word is this. The first letter is T and the last letter is T. And the answer or the word is percent. Number four, how about that? R E N A G. Our fourth word is range. Did you get that? Very good. And for the fifth one, we have this jumble of letters. What word will be formed when we unscramble that? Your answer should be average. So that and other more uh, terms will be discussed in our uh, lesson for today. Okay, here is our most essential learning competency for lesson 1.1 and for lesson 1.2. So I'll give you some time to read the, them. Okay, so first let us define what is Statistics. Statistics is the study of the collection, analysis, interpretation, presentation, and organization of data. In other words, statistics is about using data to answer questions. In our daily activities, we encounter problems or questions that can be answered using statistics. By now, you should have an idea about what statistics is all about. In this illustration, you can see examples of statistical questions. I want you to observe them clearly. And then later on, we will define or describe what statistical questions are. Okay, for the first example, what are the activities of 7th graders during quarantine period? For the second question, how many people did the TikTok challenge? Number three, what is the typical number of pets owned by students in your section? Number four, who is the favorite math teacher of your classmates? And number five, do shoppers in your barangay use paper bags or plastic bags? So those are examples of statistical questions. By now, you should have an observation or description about statistical questions. While you are thinking about that, here are examples of questions that are not statistical. The first question is, What's the name of our present president? Number two, what time did you get up this morning? Number three, how many pets do you have at home? Number four, how many TikTok challenge did you do yesterday? And for the fifth question, do you like Jollibee? Can you see the difference between statistical questions and questions that are not statistical? That is correct. So statistical questions 
are those that need investigation by collecting set of data. Means that we have to investigate or uh, conduct surveys for us to answer the question. And it has different answers. And the answers could be in percent, range, or in average. Remember that. On the other hand, a question is not statistical, okay, not statistical if it has an exact answer, just like these examples. The, ex, uh, the exact answer for this is Rodrigo Duterte. Number two, it depends. Okay, let's say 6 a.m. You woke up at 6 a.m. Number three, you can just answer with numbers. Right, so there is an exact no, uh, an, an an exact answer, but for this uh, statistical questions, we have to ask people or we have to investigate before we can answer them. Okay, so that's the difference between the two. Okay, can you give other example of statistical questions? For that, I want you to type your answer in the comment section. Okay. And we will move on with the second part, which is the simple statistical instruments. These are what we use in order for us to collect data. First, let us define what is a statistical instrument. It says there, a statistical instrument is any process that aim at describing a phenomena by using any instrument or device, however the result may be used as a control tool. That is the definition of statistical instrument. And there are some examples of statistical instruments such as survey and questionnaire. Let's go over them one by one. The first one is survey. I know you are already familiar with survey, but let us look at this definition. A survey is a process of gathering, sampling, analyzing, and interpreting data from a group of people. There are four types or four samples of survey. The first one is multiple choice. Multiple choice survey questions are questions that over that offer respondents a variety of different responses to choose from. These questions are usually accompanied by another option that the respondent can fill in with a customer answer if the option don't apply to them. Okay, so that is for multiple choice. You are given a series of choices and you are just going to select. Now, multiple choice survey questions has two classifications. The first one is single answer. Okay, from the word single, it means that you are only allowed to select one answer from the list of options. Okay, so even if you are given 10, 100 um, options, you just have to select one, only one answer. On the other hand, we have the multiple answer, uh, multiple choice survey. Later on, we, I will show you that. But here is an example of a single answer, multiple choice. This frequently appear online as circular bottom respondents can click. Okay, so this is circular and you can click if you like this, then you can select this. Okay, but if not, you can select the other options but you just have to select only one here is the second type which is the multiple answer for multiple answer it allows respondents to select all responses okay, as many as they can that apply from a list of options this frequently appear as check boxes respondents can select okay here is an example which of the following resources are available in your home for online learning? 
So if you have a phone, you have a tablet, you can select as many as you can, or you can select all of it. Okay, so that is for multiple answer, multiple choice. Now, that is the first one. Let's continue to number two, which is a rating scale. A rating scale or rating scale questions, also known as ordinal questions, ask respondents to rate something on a numerical scale assigned to sentiment. From the word rate, you are going to rate. For example, how do you recommend a brand of your cell phone to your classmates? One being the worst and five being the best. Okay, so you're just going to read if it is worse, you select one. But if it's best or you like your phone, you, you recommend it, so you select five. Number three, we have Likert scale. A Likert scale survey or Likert scale survey questions evaluate if a respondent agrees or disagrees with a question. Here is an example. How are you satisfied with the performance of your classmates' presentation? Are you happy or not very happy? So you just have to um, select if you agree or not, or if you are happy or not. Okay, so that is for Likert scale. And the fourth one, or fourth sample for, fourth example of a survey is ranking. Ranking survey questions. Ask respondents to rank a variety of different answer options in terms of relative priority or importance to them. Ranking questions provide qualitative feedback about the pool of respondents, but they don't offer the why behind the respondent's choice. So no explanation, you just have to rank. For example, here is an example. Rank the following subjects in order of preference. One being your favorite and eight being your least favorite. So if your favorite subject is math, you just have to rank it as one. And then your next favorite, you rank it as two and so on. So that is for the example of ranking. And the other type of statistical instrument or another statistical instrument that we can use is the questionnaire okay i know you you are already familiar with the questionnaire it is a series of questions that are asked to your respondents it is simply one of the tools used to conduct a survey usually this is a printed copy okay and then there are series of questions that uh, the respondents have to answer here is an example, okay? Students feedback questionnaire on lesson. For example, you are going to uh, evaluate this lesson based on your teacher's performance. So you just have to select, is it always, always sometimes or never, okay? Or often for O. So does the teacher explain things clearly? If it is always, you just have to select a. And there are a series of other questions that you have to accomplish. Okay, so that is an example of a questionnaire. To sum it all up, here are the different statistical instruments that we have discussed. So again, we have survey. Survey has four classifications. It can be a multiple choice, rating scale, Likert scale or ranking. And then multiple choice can be classified as a single answer multiple choice or multiple answer multiple choice. And we have here a questionnaire which is uh, defined as another tool we use in conducting a survey. So this is just a tool. And remember it has a series of questions that your respondents have to answer. So that's it. That's the end of our lesson for week one. Our next lesson will be on the collection of statistical data. We will be discussing that next time.
Thank you so much for listening. This is Mary Jane Palara. Thank you so much for listening. Bye.